life is meant to be experienced. You'll have good experiences as well as bad ones. One day you'll be achieving so much and the next day you might be depressed. You'll have good people in your life and at the same time you'll meet toxic people in your life. Many times we end up falling in love with those toxic people. I'm sure you have also experienced this situation in your life. You loved that person truly. You did so many things for them. And yet, they left you for no apparent reason. I know you are depressed and feel like giving up. But trust me, if you aren't willing to move on and let them go, you're making a huge mistake. You need to start focusing on your future instead of crying over your past mistakes. Maybe the person you love deeply left you or might have cheated on you. There could be any reason and you want that person to still stay in your life. Trust me, you're doing it all wrong. You need to let them go. There is no comforting way to say that. These are just three simple words. Let them go. If you have already done everything you could do and said everything you could say and that person still wants to go, here's the single most important thing you can do now to improve your life. Let them go. You have taken care of them and supported them in their difficult times. Sacrificed your own happiness for them. Fought with other people for them. If that person still doesn't want to stay in your life, you need to understand that you cannot force them to stay. Just let them go. All those sleepless nights and stressful days will be forgotten once you move on. You will start doing wonders and will be proud of yourself one day for letting that person go. Think about it. Does a person deserve your attention if they didn't realize your importance? Should you keep crying for a person who has moved on and is living a happy life? Should you beg that same person who hurt you? No! You need to forget that person and start moving on with your life. Go out and take a holiday. Spend a night out with yourself. Spend some time with your parents and children. You'll realize there are so many people around you who deserve your attention, your love, and your care. Crying for that person who left you is draining you of your mental strength. It is keeping you from achieving success. It is making you forget your own self-worth. I know it can be hard to move on if you've known a person for a long time, if you've spent some of your best moments of your life with them, if you've felt loved by that person once in your life. It is okay to cry, but don't keep crying for them for the rest of your life. Do not destroy your mental peace for just one person. You have no idea how amazing and beautiful you are. You are ruining everything for just one person. Ask yourself, are you doing the right thing? Is that person worth your tears? I know you have become weaker. It is extremely difficult for you to move on. but. You probably don't have an idea of how strong and powerful you are. Think of all those things you have achieved in your life. If you keep worrying and crying and stressing over that person, how can you start focusing on your life? Let them go. Forgive them. But most importantly, forgive yourself. Don't hurt yourself for someone else. You really want to see the light, right? But you aren't letting go of the darkness of your past decisions. If you don't let them go, they will keep ruining your life until you reach a point where you won't be able to do anything. You need to make a decision today. Decide to free yourself from that heavy weight. Decide to forgive yourself. Decide to be happy and inspire others. And decide to enjoy your life to the fullest. Trust me, you are really strong enough to do all of that. The amazing people you see in your life who are living a happy life are not lucky. Those are the ones who decided not to let one person, one situation, and one bad decision ruin their entire life. 
They decided to be strong and move on quickly. They decided to eliminate negativity from their life and decided not to seek sympathy from anyone. They decided to focus on what good is going on in their life and that is exactly what you need to do right now. Let me tell you one thing. Everything cannot be perfect in your life at one time. You will have to be happy with the little things you've got in your life. You will have to let go. You will have to move on. You need to understand that everything happens for a reason. And I strongly believe that the bad times come to teach us some of the most important lessons of our lives. Think of all those bad things that have happened in your life and you'll realize that those circumstances made you a better person. You learned some of the most important things due to those situations. Ever wonder why letting go of someone is so hard? Well, that holding on is natural. Humans tend to hold on due to the fact that it fulfills their need for certainty. Letting go of someone you have loved entails uncertainty. Even if your relationship was toxic, it still had some certainty that was giving you comfort. But the thing is, you need to understand that holding on harms you. It stops you from reaching your goals and not knowing how to move on prevents you from reaching your true potential. Learn when it is time to move on. You need to identify those limiting beliefs. You need to change the way you tell that story to yourself. Don't tell yourself that your past relationship was unsuccessful because of you. It didn't end because of you. And please stop the blame game. Yes, I know that it is completely natural to point a finger at someone else or a situation for your current hardships in your life, but it is not necessary to blame anyone. Your partner might have been wrong or you might have been wrong or the situation wasn't right for both of you. But the thing is, it won't benefit you if you keep thinking of those things. Simply let them go and move on with your life. You have a long journey ahead, which will be ruined if you don't start controlling your emotions. Once you become a master at controlling your emotions, you will be able to unlock the life you truly deserve. In the end, I would say that tomorrow is another day to conquer this world and you can do miracles. Go out and conquer this world. Let them realize what they have lost. It's their loss, not yours.
this right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through Sky on your mind. 